Can you give me your name? Norma Avery. All right. And where and when were you born? I was born here in Topeka, Kansas, 1949. November 17th. I worked in department stores, at grocery stores, but uh, my main career was at, I did for uh, special needs. Mm -hmm. And I worked there for 30 years, K&I. At K&I? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also did uh, home care. Mm -hmm. And I still do home care. I went to Washington School. Mm -hmm. And I went to Washington uh, Kindergarten first and second grade. Mm -hmm. uh, well, second grade I would have been going to there, but then that's when we trans I transferred over to Parkdale grade school. Mm -hmm. And that's where uh, I had a few problems. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I got there, um, the teacher that I had tried to get me to write right-handed. Mm -hmm. I'm left-handed. She didn't seem to comprehend, and I, th I think what it was really was that she didn't really want us there. And so she would hold my hand behind my back and holler at me and steady try to make me learn how to do that. And uh, first I didn't tell my mom what was going on or anything. I didn't tell anybody. But after a while, my mom caught on that something wasn't right. And so she came down to the school. Mm -hmm. And uh, by that time, the school had made a decision to put me back into the first grade. Because, because they seemed I didn't know how to write at all. Mm -hmm. And so I went back to the first grade at Parkdale. Parkdale was? It was uh, white at that time. I, I, Parkdale was like a block from my house. Mm -hmm. And I would have to walk past there to get to Washington School. And I walked, that would, Washington was about six blocks from my house. And um, so it, it was a little different. I, I didn't quite understand what was going on because you see the kids out, they was out in the playgrounds playing and stuff and couldn't figure out well, why come I'm walking past this school so close and have to go there but uh, I had a great time in Washington. I didn't uh, I didn't have any problems. Uh, it was a different era so the, it was just really nice. Washington teachers, uh, I really didn't have any problem there because they was focused on teaching you. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't that whether you was left hand or right handed or whatever, uh, it was getting the information to you to teach and, and learn you how to write and kind of read a little bit during that period. Mm -hmm. But uh, they were firm, mm -hmm. I, I would say that. But back then also, everybody kind of knew everybody. So uh, you wasn't about to try and get in any trouble because you know you was really going to kind of get it when you got home from several people. So uh, <laughs> you behaved and, and hit them books. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was, it was good, a good learning experience. Uh, playground, uh, we all just had fun. It, yeah. it, we had uh, a lot of, uh, like, you know, four squares, a tether ball and all that kind of stuff, and, and we had fun. After I got, you know, situated and going into Parkdale, I really didn't have any more problems. I think the transition then was like, uh, it was like, oh, well, we better go on and teach. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically that's what happens because I had a, a quite a few good teachers there mm -hmm. that really would help you mm -hmm. and uh, patient with you. So I didn't have uh, uh, any any problems and my mom was pretty much Johnny on the job after that first experience so uh, she was at school a lot okay. uh, to make sure things stayed on the up and up. She was one of those that got involved with the community so uh, they knew, they were beginning to know her very well. She was into, well, you caught me off guard on that because she was in a lot of my Let's Help, the Community Action. Uh, 
she was one of those uh, that helped start some of those. Um, oh, there's a whole list of them. Okay. And that's okay. Oh, yeah. You that's back then. There was just a lot of people that uh, wanted to bring things into the community, and they worked hard mm -hmm. to get them there.